Hello folks, welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Joe 21 Love. Here with another edition of Sports OV Topics, or whatever I'm calling it these days. But nonetheless, thank you guys all. Let's talk about basketball and let's talk about hockey and football. All the good stuff. Well, most of it while we're at it. But playoffs are... In the realm right now, both NHL and NBA, which we'll talk about, give our thoughts on the second round because it's underway, but it's going to be fun for us away. NHL playoffs, some series have wrapped up for the first round, but overall wrapped up for our Yang into the second round. And some good picks to talk about for NFL. So, first of all, so, thing I found out yesterday, or last night, that next week we will get the schedule release of the 2024 NFL regular season, which... Will be fun. Of course, I like to make predictions and so on and so forth of based off the regular season. So get get that in mind. But it's always fun to look at. Go to. I mean, teams always always get ahead and figure out which teams they're gonna face. The NFL regular season, when it's released, pretty much just documents, well, are we, are our our team going to face that? Apologies for the grammar. Is our team going to be in some rough patches, you know, with a certain amount of te- a number of teams, you know, back to back to back, you know, is the team going to be, you know, at home a bunch, you know, is there going to be stretch of staying at home? As opposed to home games, you know, there's a lot that goes into, you know, the regular season release, you know. It's important to sort of, you know, are you, is your team going to be able to start off strong or finish tight at the end of the regular season as they're heading for a playoff berth? Who knows? But we'll see as it comes out next Wednesday. But some interesting moves to talk about for the NFL. So, first of all, the Raiders, who have been flying on the radar in finishing 8-9 last year, right below 500, but... Now with Antonio Pierce going through the offseason as the full-time head coach. And, you know, seems like things are a bit on the up and up for them this season. It's going to be interesting. But they acquired an interesting pickup in Andreas Peep, the former veteran tackle of or lineman of the New Orleans Saints blocking for many years mostly left guard has had some injury issues the last number of years so clearly you know besides Colton Miller and their offense line did 
weather storm and did look very good in stretches down the stretch. Another solid pickup for the Raiders offense line is of course needed. So kudos for Andrews Pete. Hopefully he can be healthy for the Raiders. But an interesting one for a guy I had my eye on. You know, as soon as it was announced that he was a free agent. And with it seems like T. Higgins will return to the Bengals and the Bengals picking up Jermaine Burton from Alabama in the draft. Very good pickup for them. But Tyler Boyd, Tyler Boyd, who has been the pronounced slot receiver, has looked very good at times. Of course, he'll forever be remembered as for that one play sending the Ravens home and the Bills into the playoffs and that Grateful day, beginning of 2018, but nonetheless, I was curious as why he was still on the board, and there's still some very good free agents still available, but after hearing he had visits with the Chargers and the Titans, ultimately, Tyler Boyd has opted to sign with the Tennessee Titans for a one-year, $4.5 million deal. He joins now DeAndre Hopkins, Calvin Ridley, and Tyler Boyd. Yo, Will Levis has got to be very happy. Very happy. Yo, look. The Titans right now, you know, they've been looking like the ugly duckling, it appears, for a number of just eyes, it looks like, through the media, and looks to be that way. This season, as far as the AFC South, the you know, Texans obviously won the division. Jaguars look like with Trevor Lawrence, they want to rebound. Uh, they need to rebound, obviously, even though they had still a solid year at 9 and 8, but obviously missing the playoffs this time. And the Colts, who had a productive year in their own right, finished just shy of winning the division in their own right. But you get the point. You know, Titans are flying on the radar, but Will Levis, he showed some prowess in his game action last season. Now, with a training camp under his belt and offseason as the starter, it's going to be interesting to see how he does with Hopkins, with Ridley, with Tyler Boyd. Now, yes, no Derrick Henry, but I feel like their backfield is pretty equipped, you know, with Tony Pollard, with Taja Spears, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So now, let's talk about it. So, first of all, for Aki, for the NHL playoffs. For one, two teams, or actually three, have been... Swept 
not swept away, but, you know, seasons have been wrapped up. The Edmonton Oilers made good work of the Los Angeles Kings. The Boston Bruins, they did not, they almost did blow a 3-1 lead again, but ultimately they were the last one standing in Game 7 as they beat the Toronto Maple Leafs on the way to rematching, like I said, the Florida Panthers. And they won game one. We'll see how it wraps Russ away. And ay ay ay. We'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Boston Bruins, you know. And we will have a new Stanley Cup champion as the Vegas Gold Knights. Unfortunately, could not complete the 3-1 series comeback as well. As they lost to Dallas Stars, who are on the way facing the Colorado Avalanche. Should be a fun series as well, but it's a new for a Stanley Cup champion this season. Playoffs. So let's talk about now the second round of the NBA playoffs, which are a trip, certainly. So, first of all, the Minnesota Timberwolves have the Denver Nuggets, the reigning NBA champions, in trouble. They have them in trouble. Game one was Saturday night and it was a tough one. But game two, Monday night. So, Rudy Gobert, congrats to him on becoming a father. He missed game two. So you think with the now four-time ring NBA Defensive Player of the Year, you think that the Joker would at least have a better pace. Now with just Towns and Nas Reed pretty much doing the vocal point for Challenging Joker. Rally is Denver Nuggets looked beat up, beat up on Monday night. You know, Jamal Murray had a sad night. You know, he. He may still be injured, he may be even sick, so, but <laughs> he had a bad night. Threw a heat pad on the court because of it. Michael Malone, their coach, got infuriated in front of an official, you know. It's like Aaron Gordon pretty much felt like the one guy that showed up and he only had 20 points. I mean, just wow, wow, wow. Now, they go to Minnesota on Friday night, game three. T Wolves are up 2 nothing. Now, yo. Know, We'll see how the Nuggets adjust because they have to. You know, Raleigh is 
like we said with T Wolves over the Suns, T Wolves are deep. You know, with that man, Towns, McDaniels, Anderson, Alexander Walker, I mean, Conley. You got a number of foes on that team. Nas Reed. Sick man of the year, I mean, brutal. But yeah, Jamal Murray has to be a better. Jokic has to be better. Porter has to be better. I mean, etc. They have to be better. It's not much to say. It's just how it is. So, let's take to the other West series before we get to these. So, on the other side for the West, we got the number one seed, Oklahoma City Thunder. Who are very young and very skilled. Very good. Up against the Dallas Mavericks. Game one was last night, and I must say, Dallas put up a very good fight. But and there were times when it looked like Dallas would get back in the game, but the rally is turnovers and missed shots. It's just Kyrie, again, late bloomer at the end of the game. In the second half, he had 20 points ultimately. But Luca needs more than 19. Needs more than 19 if they're going to win. Credit to Gafford, who had a great game, but yeah. Luca has to be better. You know, I mean, it's so serious. Best of seven. So, you know, Jason Kidd and Fellas will make adjustments, but yeah. Same for the Mavs. They have to be better. Certainly. If they're going to tie up. And make a series. Going back to Dallas. But. Credit to OKC. You know. I will say. You know. The fouls called. Certainly during the first half. Certainly were. Yai. Ay, ay, yai. For. Dallas against OKC, but is how it goes. That was how it goes as I talk about Pacers and the Knicks in a bit. But I mean, OKC, you got Shea Gildress Alex, Alexander, you got Chet Holmgren, you got the Williams brothers, you got Lou Dor. I mean, it's gonna be a fun filled battle. First wave. And can't wait, can't wait. As far as these, Boston did what they had to do against Cleveland. Not really sure. Sugar calling it, or it's just Boston feels like they're on a mission. And, you know, I can't wait to see Boston first either Indiana or the Knicks. And they'll definitely put up more of a fight than Cleveland. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, I love Donovan Mitchell, I love Struce, Garland, etc. But, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. P- 
Pacers, Nick, so it's going to be fun the rest of the way. As Knicks won four point game at the end of game one in the garden, 121, 117. Obviously, some very questionable calls down the way for the Knicks that went the Knicks way that people are up on and deservedly so. Now, Were there calls that probably went the pace away as well during the game? Sure. It's always the thing. When, when the call at the end of the game feels like it decides the game. That's what pisses people off. It's how it is. And the reality is. The two big calls people see. Were. The kick. Call. Which wasn't a kick. And. The illegal screen. On Di Vincenzo by Miles Turner. That's what people are up on. Now, definitely the foul on Jalen Brunson, which gave him an extra free throw, that certainly was big of it in and of itself, but. Yeah. Those are what people are upon. But it's going to be a fun series. You know. Indiana. You know. With Halburn. Siakam. You know. McDonald. Etc. It's going to be a fun series. You know. Indiana's lengthy. And they're. Definitely deeper than the Knicks, but you know, John Brunson, Josh Hart, DiVincenzo, Hardenstein. It's going to be a joy. Now, they did lose Mitchell Robinson due to an ankle issue, so we'll see how that affects them the rest of the way, but. It's going to be fun. Certainly fun to see for the rest of the series. But. Anyways guys. That's it for now. Thank you guys. Be safe. See you guys next time. Adios. Celebrate playoffs. Be back next time. Peace.